It's Thursday, the 8th of July. My name's Juan Brown. You're watching the Blanco Lirio channel and here on a long layover in Miami, Miami Beach area. We're at the site of the memorial of the folks that lost their lives in the condo collapse here in the North Beach area of Miami. The collapsed condo is located just right back over there. This is officially now a recovery operation. The rescue operation has all been but shut down. At this time, the numbers are changing constantly. They're looking at approximately 60 confirmed fatalities, of which only 30 or so have been positively identified. 80 people still missing. Recovery teams are carefully sifting through the remains to try to find any any remains and any personal items to the remaining that belongs to all these victims of this terrible collapse. Now, what are investigators going to be looking at as far as what caused this collapse? They're going to they're going back through the records of the building about a 40 year. It was up for its 40 year maintenance review. That's one of the first things you're going to be, that's probably going to come out of this, is they're going to hopefully reduce the num the amount of time in between these major inspections of these older buildings here in a highly corrosive environment like Miami Beach near all this salt water. Concrete is very strong in compression. As you step on it, of course, it's very, very strong. Concrete is very weak in tension. And so concrete is reinforced with rebar or steel reinforcing bar throughout the concrete. Concrete is porous, it's a porous material. If it is not properly painted or treated, water, especially salt water, can get into the concrete and over the years attack the steel reinforcing bar, causing that rebar to rust. When rebar rusts, it causes, inside of concrete, it causes a phenomenon called spalling. When the rebar begins to rust, it expands. It expands about six times of its, of its original diameter. As it expands, it cracks the concrete around it, causing spalling. And, and driving around here in Miami area, in aviation, we called the Miami Airport Corrosion Corner, or a part of the Miami Airport Corrosion Corner, because of all the corrosion caused by the, the salty sea air here. Same problem with these buildings. Corrosion, spalling, and loss of structural strength of your concrete members. This is a good example of concrete spalling that you can see on some of the older buildings here in the local area. What investigators are going to be looking at here is the sequence of events on this collapse. And going back to that 2018 report, they were talking about the pool structure leaking. Leaks in the pool structure, leaks from the pool itself and from rainwater and saltwater intrusion caused major spalling of structural members below the pool. The structure design of these condos is such that you have <coughs> a foundation and then a, a garage and then a pool mounted above the garage and then a condo above the pool. So going back to the 2018 report where they pointed out this spalling of the structural members near the uh, pool area, they, they noted that that deterioration is going gonna, is gonna to deteriorate exponentially because once that spalling starts, it opens up and it allows more water, more intrusion, more corrosion, and the whole thing is off to the rodeo, so to speak, as far as increasing in corrosion and decreasing in strength. Now when you look at the video footage of this and the initial evidence of this, it appears that the pool structure failed first. So the pool collapsed down onto the garage level. Another unfortunate design of this particular condo that they're finding out is that this foundation, the pool uh, deck is sloped to run water off. 
the pool deck was sloped but it wasn't sloped quite enough or water was still allowed to penetrate the pool deck and unfortunately the foundation below was fairly level the foundation below did not have adequate slope to it to allow water to drain off of that foundation thus the structural members below that foundation began to corrode as well so once the pool deck collapsed down onto the foundation level moments or minutes later the center part of the building next to where the stu the pool structure collapsed began to collapse and then the rest of the structure followed suit So investigators will be looking carefully at the timeline of the actual structural failure itself, which columns exactly failed, bringing down the whole thing down very, very quickly. And then they're gonna go back and look at the human factors involved with the maintenance and management of this entire structure and find out why this wasn't taken care of in time. It was gonna cost all the condo owners an incredible amount of money to get these repairs done why weren't they done in a timely matter and we're gonna see a lot of changes into the structures up and down the coast here as a result of this huge disaster here in Miami thanks for your support of this channel especially over on patreon that make this content possible I got to get to work see you here